नमस्कार सतरकाल आदाब हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डे ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑफ आर लर्निंग जर्नी आई एम डिप के लर्नर योर फ्रेंड योर गाइड एंड समवन हु बिलीव दैट लर्निंग अ लिटिल बिट एवरी डे कैन ट्रूली चेंज लाइफ हैव यू एवर थॉट वाई डू आई नीड टू राइट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फॉर्मूलाज फॉर सिंपल टास्क वॉट इफ पावर बी आई कुड जस्ट लर्न फ्रॉम यू Today I am going to show you one of the coolest tricks in Power BI and that is add column from example This tool lets you simply type your desired output and Power BI will figure out the formula for you Before we begin you know friends sometimes learning is not just for ourselves maybe someone you know a friend a student a colleague is struggling trying to figure out things just one small piece of information can make a huge difference for them that's why i have a humble request if you think today's video might help someone else please share it forward and if you are new don't forget to like share and subscribe it keeps me motivated to bring you more content every single day let's begin with demo and for doing the demo what are we going to do is we are going to open up the power bi desktop we'll start with a new report and the new report will go to the get data i have an excel file for today and um, that's lying in the demos and here we are you would be able to download it if you would do the request from the github so those all the demos that i'm doing now i'm adding them to the github and also the excel sheets associated with them so i'll just take sheet 1 and click on transform so you can see in this particular excel we have three columns we have product name order date and amount now let's just try to work on the first example where the requirement is that we require the product name in such a way that we require the first three characters of the first name and the next three characters of the second name for example if you are talking about stay suggest we want it as sta and sug in one word so let's just try to do that what we'll do is we'll go to add column and here we'll select the product name and then we'll go with from selection column from example from selection so what i'll do is i'll try to write down in the first column i'll write down sta space sug now if i click on this and the second example where i'll write down pag and write down fas and then you will see that it has taken all the other things on on the basis of the example if i am happy that this is what i require i'll just go with okay but what i am thinking is i don't require a space between them so i will remove the space here and the space here as well so you see that it has again taken the example and filled in the data i'll click on okay and i'll see a new column as per the requirement right so that's one of the example the second example is you see that my date order date column is not been changed into a date but it is been taken as a number so i'll first change it to date time now the requirement is that i only require the year in the next column so what i can do is i can go with <clears throat> column from example and i'll say from all the columns or i can go with that particular column as well i'll just write down 2 0 2 5 that is the first year 
and you will see that it has taken the years of each date that we have and i'll click on ok so i have the years there as well similarly you can try at yourself for the month and for dates as well not only this right i want something related to amount i want to find out if my customer is a premium customer or not and the premium customer is defined on the amount of money that they spend right so i have to check how many of these customers or these product that we are talking about right how many of this product amount falls under the premium products so what i will do is i will again go and add column from example this time i'll go with selection so first i'll select this column amount and then i'll go with column from example from selection so once i'm there what i require is i'll just write down because this is already more than thousand so i'll write down hi it will um, look for the second one this is also high and then it will write down high for each one of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find out one more which is less than thousand and i'll write down low there so the moment i write down the low you will see that there is a formula where it says that the, if the amount is greater than 1285.65, then it is high else less. I'll take this <clears throat> as okay. Then I'll go to this formula and from the formula, I'll change this to just mere thousand. And then click on check mark or I can click just outside it. So any value which is more than thousand, more than equal to thousand would be considered as high and any value which would be less than 1000 would be considered as low. So this was the example that I wanted to show. What you have learned is you have seen the exact product code. You, you extracted the product code from the product code. So you took the first three digits of the first name and the first three digit of the second name in fact alphabets i'm sorry not the digits what i'm ask what i'll ask you to do is in your free time just try to take the last three digits and then or last three characters of the product names right if you're trying to do the demo and then find out that <clears throat> how you can do that with column from example now we have done the extract product code. We have also talked about create time based column. So we created year, you can create it for month and the date. And then we categorize the numerical data with the formula. So these were the three examples that I wanted to show. So friends, that was day 23. If you have any questions or something is not clear, tell me in the comments, I love to know. And I'll reply them uh as well so in a world where ai is learning from us every day this feature is a small but a powerful example of human friendly ai in action so if you have any question you ask it learn it with diff learner i'll give you the comment uh, give you the link in the um, in the description of the video So that is um, what I was talking about. If you have any questions, you can come up with the question. And don't miss tomorrow's video. We'll move on one step ahead and learn how to create conditional columns. That is like, if this, then that. No formulas, just clicks. Like, so like, comment, share, and subscribe. One practical file, I'll give you the link and I'll show you a video, all of that. And you will be able to get all the examples so once again thank you and stay happy stay curious and keep learning namaskar sasyakal adab goodbye